All right, hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. I'm back after a uh, fun and interesting weekend. Um, yesterday, I was continuing to try to solve the hardened scales problem of being really freaking bad against the bean deck. I know that the bean deck is, you know, falling in popularity. Scales is still, like, you know, pretty reasonable. But, um, it, boy, is that matchup just a nightmare. And just thinking more and more, I'm like, well... The, the main way you beat that matchup as scales is you slam a patchwork automaton on turn two. This is like your best play card in the matchup. It just is a really, really good tempo swing in your favor. It's a huge speed bump. You get in for a lot of damage. And so just kind of chewing on that a little bit more. This card is also in the format. That's champion. Three mana, two, two. Metalcraft. As long as you have Metalcraft, three or more artifacts in play, that's champion has protection from all colors. And so there was like a while I was trying to play... S champion in scales and then I was I kind of came to the determination that like you really really need to be playing the artifact lands um or some number of like actual artifact lands if you're going to play uh, S champion you just like have to have these like artifact lands in play so this is just almost always protection from all colors which I I, I don't know how much this needs to be said that's really really good ability in this metagame this card is like not only a nightmare for the bean deck a absolute nightmare for the scam deck too this you know just just true name nemesis very very hard for them to deal with very very powerful effect don't have you know almost anything in the format that's commonly played that deals with these cards although I did get brotherhood ended yesterday really badly <laughs> out of rhinos um and then, I, and then I was maybe going to win anyways because I had Saga, then they force vigored me. Uh, which is, you know, the affinity experience, of course. Um, and so I was trying to be, like, for a little while, like, Colorless Scales and playing, like, Agatha's Soul Cauldron and Walking Ballista. And I was even thinking, like, ooh, Ginger Brood's, like, a pretty good Agatha's Soul Cauldron ability. But I ended up thinking that I just wanted to be more in on, like, the Nettle Cyst Cranial Plating Plan. These, like... These cards power up Ed's Champion to, like, a 20 out of 10. Like, li like literally, like, you know, 20... I've had some 20 power Ed's Champions yesterday. You know, just kind of like a great... It's kind of like the classic legacy. Put a sword on your true name nemesis, except the sword gives your creature, like, plus, plus 10, plus 10 or something. Um, yeah, and I, I ended up, like, being really happy with just, like, the entirely colorless shell. Like, your, 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 like, land quality ends up being so high... When you don't end up playing like any of the tapped artifact duels, like all of your lands inter untapped and are artifacts or good utility lands like Urza Saga, Gemstone Caverns. Uh, I'm also deciding to play Blink Moth Nexus instead of Ink Moth Nexus or Mistress Factory. Um, I It's kind of weird, but like, you know, the rest of the deck attacks for regular damage. And I, I, I maybe, like, maybe we're pretty good at like making one of these 10 power. But if we're making these things 10 power, like, what are the chances our opponent's, like, much higher than 10 life? Only two cavern. Isn't it better than dark steel? Well, I, exclamation point DT. Spike got to explain the deck. You, you, you know this card is legendary, right? <laughs> you want to play four? Or at least treasure vault? I, like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm getting fucking tra sidetracked. Uh, sorry. I'm going to just collect myself a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to look at chat. Um, but yeah, the, the quality of your lands is really high, uh, not playing any of the non-artifact cards like Hardened Scales, or Ancient Stirrings, or Thought Cast, Thought Monitor, your, your land quality is really, really high, um, and, uh, and you also get to play Mori randomly, and it's kind of cool that you play two, you need, like, two swamps for, like, Besaju, Field of Ruin, Swamp also, like, attaches Cranial Plating, also cast Mori, so it's kind of cool that there's, like, an overlapping color there. And deck deck was looking good. You feel yes, interesting. Also, like the one ring is like crazy good in this deck. I found like you get to cast it pretty quickly in your gemstone caverns for a springleaf drum deck. It's like it's also like you're in a spot a lot of time where you have one big thing and you're smacking in and your race companion than like you know Gigantha Kihira. Like the effect is a, a good a good bit stronger. It's it's certainly hard to cast, but it, it's it's it, it is nice to be a companion deck where your companion is good. Kind of simply put. As champion does not go well with Cauldron Ballista. It does. It does. And so that was that was definitely where my like first draft was for a while. And then I ended up determining that um, after spending a, a long time with it, that I thought that this build that was more focused on Cranial Blading Nettle Cyst was better. Like also like Ornithopter is a much better card. When you have Cranial Blading Nettle Cyst, you get to suit them up and they get to be large and in charge. 
which is a pretty important dynamic. Okay, having double ring against what is likely hammer is a pretty, pretty nice thing too. I think that I want to play Citadel this turn and the next turn go um, Urza Saga Nettle Cyst. Thoughts on this game being like 35% of the chapters last weekend? I'm uh, not surprised. It's kind of been like this for a little while, and I, I don't know that it's going to change until we see a ban. It is just, it's, it's the best deck in Modern. It's going to continue to be the best deck in Modern. Um, it, I, I've been in favor of banning Grief for like six months or something like that. Close to it. Also, like, the power level of cards like Nettle, Cis, Cradle Pudding, just when you get to play all these artifact lands is so high. Shout out to first comment of the day. Spike, what if we cut Darksteel Citadel for a third Gemstone Caverns? <laughs> Why blink over ink? It just deals it deals damage, you know? I, it's, it's kind of a weird weird thing. But I know everyone always plays Ink Moth instead, but this like the rest of the deck deals damage, not in fact. I'm starting to think it's weird that we've always played Ink Moth instead. It's kind of, I, know, I don't know, it's kind of weird for sure. Uh, I like this draw. I think I brought, we're just going to slam a um, ring this turn. Or at least Treasure Vault. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I, I'll say this. There's some chatters who, like, like the first thing they say every single day is a, is a change suggestion for, like, what they want to cut. It's the first thing they say every single day is, like, what they want to change about the deck. And I don't know. It just gets old. Okay, defensive cauldron will be hard to uh, punch through. Ink both much better against yeah a lot of all the infinite life decks. Okay, opponent fights a shadow spear. Did Mori become relevant during testing? Yeah, I put it to my hand like one time. It was it, it it's also like pretty powerful. I, I think it's worth playing, especially like when there's also like just not um oh shit sorry I meant to tap this for mana obviously. It's kind of fine though. I think we we have still enough mana to go ginger root activate and equip the nettle cyst, but not the shadow spear. Although Etz Champion could be a bit better here. I could equip both next turn. Although if I if I go if I go for the nettle cyst, I just have them. Although this has haste, so that they can be blocked. Okay, never mind. So then we need to go for Etz Champion. Into Pithing Needle on Giver of Runes, I think. Yard into Brewers, of course, they want to Theory Craft Changes. Yeah, I, do you, we, we Theory Craft Changes a lot, but it's, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm aware of it, but I, I, I don't know what else there is to say. But you're right, it is what it is, huh? Band of the 14 months, thank you, thank you, welcome back. Uh, right, this should just, oh, I guess it's not lethal because they have the ginger root to block the edge champion. How, with the 35 months, thank you, thank you, welcome back. Yeah, I can pay and then go land, equip Shadow Spear, equip uh, Nettle Cyst. Yeah, it's the the Monarch Tutors clip. I, I guess I guess what 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 I'm trying to say is there's the people who are here like every day. And understand my general frustration in this, with this like clip right here. They play against, I watch him play against Scam, and the first twenty minutes of every spike stream is him defending his deck. Now just everyone's just like, you should play this, you should play this, you should play this. Your deck sucks. You need to add this. You need to add four Mitch's bobbles. Blah 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 blah. It is the funniest fucking thing. And then like, he spends twenty minutes fighting off everybody. And then his chat starts talking about ban requests. <laughs> then it's like, what do you think? This card should be banned. And then they go back to attacking the deck. Right? And then after maybe about the third game at the deck, Spike's already moving on to the next deck. <laughs>
Yeah, it's just every stream, and so it, it is what it is, but it's the people who are here every day, and they hear me very vocally, like, wanting to just, like, get through the first few matches without, like, a lot of changes, kind of share the ideas, but and it's to hear people who are every day, and every day, like, it's the first comment that's like, Spike, this is what I think you should have differently here. And it's okay, it's fine, it's not a huge deal, but, um... Uh, that, that was what I was trying to communicate. You're like, you think the people here every day would know. <laughs> I just, I just want to cook for a little bit. <laughs> no cranial, uh, no, or no gyms are covered on the draw. Very unlucky. Should be able to keep this though. Tech tech missed. Okay, sorry. A lot going on today. Can someone link the deck tech again? It's uh, a little too far up for me now. Garwood Twitch Prime, bro, with the seven months. Thank you. Thank you, Doc. But I'm also happy that people are here every day. <laughs> This is a Pioneer deck. Pioneer Doom Foretold. Uh, can we get a refund, please? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, I just, I've been working on Pioneer a little bit. I, I just, I don't think I'll be able to help you on this right now. I've never played Doom Foretold. I've never done deep dive on like playable cards for Doom Foretold. I'm a little, let's go to game three here also. Um. I'm a little uneducated, I think, on the Doom Foretold archetype. I've always watched, like, Nassif build the deck, and I've just, like, I've just not understood how it is that one comes to, like, conclusions on some of these numbers. Um, I would say that Moss with Dread Knight seems like it would not be very good at all in, in this archetype, but... I, but like I don't even know that like I, I is Mosswood Dread Knight just like huge pioneer staple and I'm like out of touch for even saying that maybe so yeah I just yeah I, I don't know like I, I I can be help more helpful like you know modern deck text I just haven't played enough pioneer to like feel like I can help out on that one so we can get a refund for that for that one Jesus the 12 months start to build the eight thank you thank you okay so probably gonna needle that giver of runes We'll need to find a third mana again. I guess it. This ornithopter can block the. <laughs> can block the giver. Dizzy Ranger with the 30 months. Thank you. Thank you. And Evan with the 53. Thank you. So there's an S for Sentinel. They kept a one lander. And I kept a two lander. Alright, so. These games are always kind of interesting. And with the 53, thank you, thank you, and Jeff with the 30. Yeah, Mishra's Workshop would be pretty dang good. So what would they name here? Could name the One Ring, could name... They named Ginger Brew. Updated State of Modern, baby. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's not just give them cards. We'll play the Etch Champ. So they're going to grab their culture here, I would presume. They get Shadow Spear instead. Maybe there's culture in the hand. Maybe I'm wrong for presuming uh, Cauldra in that spot. Uh, this turn, I think I want to Nettle Cyst and pay. I would really like them to miss their land drop again next turn so they're not able to make any Saga tokens. So feels worth doing this. Also, putting that assist on the Etch Champion is, you know, the deck's plan, and should be pretty good against them. We could draw land next turn and go equip plus second champ. We could also play Shadow Spear. My opponent uh, finds a land and slams Forge anew, though, which is pretty scary. Um, so it could be good for me to just play the ring this turn. Yeah, let's play the ring this turn. Oh, 
The land would be nice to find. That is nice to find. Also grows my nettle cyst. So they're chumping with their giver. And chumping with the ornithopter. Interesting. It's at two mana to equip. They could have another needle in their deck. A weird game. What do you do when you hit a slump and lose every single game? Uh, play different decks is one very important thing to do. So they do, they just immediately grab another needle and they do name Nettle Sys, so I can't equip the Nettle Sys onto the construct. They also have Ink Moth Nexus, but I can block that with Ornithopter. They have Shadow Spear four mystery cards. Yeah, but I guess they can also Shadow Spear their Ink Moth Nexus. So that's a little uh, bit of a problem. Interesting they didn't put this on the Esper Sentinel. Okay, second Ornithopter means I, I live through if they don't have another hammer. Do you know where the other charger is? No, I don't. If you need this one for work, you can take it. I think I'm supposed to play second, um, second Nettle Cyst instead of the second Etz Champion here. And I can't quite attack with my Germ Token. Slowbro with the 40 months. Can they equip on my opponent's turn? On their opponent's turn? Each of your turns, okay. I missed some subscriptions. Deadpool with the 16, Tomato Bisque with the 17, Emma the 53, I got that one. Okay, they had a Shadow Spear, four mystery cards. So they play the Shadow Spear. They're not animating Ink Moth Nexus. They're instead putting Cauldron into play. Which can hit me for 15? Or they can drain me for six if they equip Shadow Spear, but they shouldn't be able to do both. I do have this ring damage going. Wait, they so they equip they equip with the onto the Shadow Spear and on the construct instead. I, I if this is interesting. They get to gain a ton of life, but now I I do get to uh, trade a germ for this construct, which is kind of interesting. Also, Finding a cranial plane. Oh, solitude. Well, okay, I guess both of our life totals are gonna be really high. Finding a me finding a needle for their ink moth nexus feels like it might end up being crucial. Uh, me these these dental cysts being locked is is definitely a big factor here. I don't really draw anything either. Which is pretty bad. Assuming their last card is re is not super relevant, though, we're not dead. And we get to draw, you know, four cards next turn. Remember, there's a needle on the uh, Nettle Cyst and the Ginger Brute. If that was Ink Moth Nexus, you'd win. Uh, <laughs> I can't equip with my nettle cysts. They're immediately doing something. Oh, fuck. This could be a good Haywire Might deck. Seems difficult to activate Haywire Might. Alright, so this is going to be... 34, 34, basically. Would you take this deck to Attorney, or would you erase Umori? What do you mean by erase Umori? I, this deck's been good at my testing, I don't know. But I don't know what you mean by erase Umori. Yeah, I really could not beat their last card, or their, you know, this turn also having a hammer on it. What else do I have? I mean, I might just be dead here. I get to draw four cards, though, like... Uh, cranial Plating plus Shadow Spear, babe. Nah, that's not enough, though. 
Sure, if I go 28, thank you, thank you, welcome back. What's such a weird game? We're both so low resource early. Okay, no lander. So I'm, I'm gonna keep this for sure. It's kind of tempting for me to go turn two, two citadels into patchwork ornithopter frogmite on turn two. I think I should probably put back the second citadel though, since I want the second saga for action or whatever. Island sleight of hands. So this is probably like Twiddle Storm, right? Why blink both over ink moth? It's mostly just kind of like a, a theory I'm having that it, it might be better. Like very simply put, like. It, it, I feel like just dealing regular damage instead of ink moth damage is ink moth damage is better. And also you can you could use a second blink moth to protect your first blink moth from like a bowmaster ETB trigger, which is pretty relevant. Um I could just be like really wrong about it, but it's one of those things where like you just like always end up playing um Yeah, let's let's not um play the spring leaf drum this turn, but the next turn we get to go. Springleaf Drum, make a token, Frogmite, attack four, four. Adnaz? Uh, I would think Twiddle Storm is more likely than Adnaz. Could be, could be that too. You know, spell-based combo of some kind. You kind of have to go on and ink both most times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, but you could also, but you're also like a deck that's just attacking for a lot of damage. So like, a lot of times your opponent will be under 20 life, you know what I mean? Yeah, it is Twiddle Storm. We have a bunch of damping spheres on the sideboard, which is uh, fun. Why didn't you just play the Fortnite Frogmite? Uh, Frogmite is Affinity 4. I have three artifacts, which means it costs one mana instead of uh, zero. But I can play for zero this turn. Fortnite. I've actually never played. I watch Amy play sometimes. She's really good. Maybe getting one ringed here. We have we have needle we have main deck needle, so we can needle the ring next turn if that's what they're doing. Playing drum and using Orny to play a patch lets you play frog. Yeah, but then you get two less counters on your patchwork automaton. Which is uh not not correct. think you don't really go to modern right now all right they still have protection from everything but you know their deck is very much built around like putting a ring into play and twiddling it so if they don't have like their main deck besides you for the needle it's gonna be likely tough for them to win Max Reed, 21 months. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Looking forward to the LCI PowerPoint. Any idea when it'll be out? Um, so it's taking longer than I thought since main phase bounce the needle. It's taking longer than I thought since there's a lot more to talk about. So like I, I, I'm almost done like making the PowerPoint itself. And then um, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to record my video because I have, oh, I renew my subscription. Uh, Cause I have like, I have a doctor's appointment today. Uh, I have the Super League Wednesday. I, I also wanted to do the, the trophy sprint this week. Like the one week long, um, trophy sprint for charity that I wanted I really want to do at some point this year but I it's like it's top, it's super league top 8 and I like I and I have a doctor's appointment I can't miss and so um so I don't know I and, and I have to do this powerpoint video so it's it's going to be tough so I'm have, having to push that back for a little while um but I can give you guys a little sneak peek of the let's, let's cut the one ring since like needling one ring is such a big part of my plan here uh, I'm going to bring in these chalices, bring in the damping series. A lot of sideboard cards. I think we're cutting the Etz Champs also. But yeah, and then the Welding Jars also seem great. So yeah, so maybe, maybe, and then it's also like I have the, the, the Atlanta RC. So like maybe, maybe the trophy sprint is like the week after Christmas. That could be a good time to do it. I mean, maybe it just doesn't get done, but I would really like to. Um, cut the ginger brutes. 
from Ornithop to number four. Yeah, I, I just yeah, I'm just playing four needles. Like Yogmoth is not Yogmoth is such a nightmare matchup for this deck, and it's also like pretty popular at the moment. And like and like there's <laughs> there's like always something to name with needle against Yog. Like you get to name Yog, then Grist, then Cauldron. Don't you know about two mana as champion effect for affinity? Do you mean patchwork? What am I missing? There's a, there's a, there's a better Ed's champion that costs two mana. Favor the mighty, two mana tribal enchantment giant. Each creature with the highest mana value has protection from all colors. So, what do we do if our opponent casts Murktide Regent or Omnath? How many deals do I bring against Scales? Scales is kind of weird because you have a lot of the same cards, um, but like up to four. The, 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 also against Tron, I want to have like four needles too. I want to be able to name Karn the Great Creator. I want to be able to name O Stone Expedition Map. It's it's also like one of my uh, you know it's Tron sideboard plan. It's not my birthday. Me and me and Caleb D actually have the same birthday though, but it's not for a little while. My birthday is April eighth, and it's also there's also a full solar eclipse. Let's go. There's also a, it's my thirtieth birthday. It's on April eighth, and there's a full solar eclipse happening where I live. Which is crazy. It's going to be a big day. And it's Caleb D's birthday that day too. And it's my twin sister's birthday. And it's my cousin. My co I also have a cousin with the same birthday. It's going to be a huge one. Going to be a huge one. <laughs> oh, I should message my there about uh, <laughs> coming here for our birthday. Okay. All right, let's keep this. I think I'm putting back Nettle Sis so I can go Cranial Plating on the Etch Champ. Never seen Caleb D inspect the same room. We've been in the same room. Oh, did we take any pictures together when we did that NRG tournament together? Thoughts on the on the Green Red Aggro Storm deck? I like that deck. We were um, like 15 and five or something going into Friday, which was a pretty good record. Like very good record. Feels powerful. Um, I'm pretty seriously considering it for the Super League, but I think it may be... I'm, I'm also like 5-0 and against Scam or something, but it's also like the, the like the Super League Scam players are like higher quality, I think, on average than your League opponents. No offense, League opponents. We love you. Um, so, I don't know. I, I also have a deck that I think will be very good against... My, my first round opponent in the Super League Top 8, which is this Wednesday. I believe it's the quarterfinals this Wednesday. Um, I have a deck that I think will be pretty good against Jim's range of decks. That's not green, red, aggro storm. So we'll we'll see. I don't know. It's there's there's a lot to talk about. Okay, we are up against Tron here. So we have the, we have we have a lot of cyber cards for Tron. We have Damping Sphere and Pithing Needle, but it's one of you know one of your harder matchups for sure. Do we play Ravager instead of Cranial Plating? We're, I mean, we're almost definitely done. Jim is going to show with four main decks starting silence. <laughs> yeah, my, my deck choice is also, I think, pretty good for, like, the whole, like, well, maybe this isn't even true, but, like, two... Two of my Super League appearances ago, Jesse like had, was scam splashing for Stony Silence. <laughs> so I, I feel I I what did I play last time? Yeah, I played the Calibrated Blast deck last time. I'm really just trying to not like walk into that uh, again. Okay, put grabs a beside you up there. Someone's crying, so maybe they just don't have much. Obviously, wishful thinking to some extent, but a little bit of wishful thinking never hurt anybody. With the format slowing down, do you think reanimating Archons could be good again? Uh, no. Like, the, for the format is, like, oh, whoops. The format is, I feel like, a little bit faster than it's been to some extent. Like, where I think, like, Scam being so popular has kind of, like, tried to speed decks up a little bit. I don't know, the bean deck slowed stuff down. Maybe, maybe it is getting slower. Um, but the problem is that, um, reanimating, like, creativity into Archon and reanimating Archons is just, like, the bean decks just, like, 
they let you get your like three for one and then they they get rid of your archon and then they're like right back ahead okay so three needles three damping spheres two welding jars in out shadow spear out four etch champions out three out four one rings we have one more spot. We could play one ring, <laughs> which I don't really want to do. Could get the Shadow Spear back in. It's like at least a one mana artifact. They have some blockers. All right, we'll play the Shadow Spear. And then I think on the draw, I'll probably cut the Shadow Spear for the third caverns. Okay, so we have potentially turn three Needle off this Urza Saga. This hand's pretty slow. I'm going to go into Mulligan. Don't like this one so much either. My opponent's on a six. I don't, the hand, that doesn't Mulligan to five super well, but I think there's a lot of fives that are better than this, and I think this five is better. So I'm going to put back, I think, Ornithopter, Ginger Brute, and then play my Saga turn one so I can get a, ring off, a Needle off of it. Creativity is good match against bean decks. I've 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 never lost to them. <laughs> I'm like four or five and zero against it or something. She might be right. I, I I don't know for sure. I haven't played a ton a ton of the matchup. Yeah, if if if, if you're like main decking a Norn as creativity, that could be a good uh, good formula. I agree. Okay, uh, I think I probably want to be naming Oblivion Stone. Could name the One Ring also, but Oblivion Stone is just like, this is the one that is just such a nightmare to try to beat. They also haven't done, they, they, they did Mulligan and haven't done any searching for Tron, so like maybe they don't have it, but you know, they, yeah, they don't have it. They're gonna have it next turn. But they can Oblivion Stone me, which would be their, you know, best follow up to this. Tezzeret, Master of Bridge, and Affinity. Oh, baby. Damping Sphere. Let's... Oh, what a crazy draw. Um, I, I don't think that that card is very good. Um, especially, like, it's like seems like a significantly worse 4-mana card advantage engine than the One Ring. <laughs> One Ring is so good in this deck. Why play second Citadel in case of Karn? Because I could draw another Citadel, and I could I could have more power and toughness in play next turn with Nettle Cyst. If Also, if they play Karn, I'm going to attack Karn and kill Karn, no matter what happens. But I, I want to be able to have my uh, Nettle Cyst as big as, as large and in charge as possible. Okay, so we do have turn one Urza Saga off the Gemstone Caverns. That's on a Mold of Six. Mold of Five. All right, let's go for the uh, Needle of Expedition map. Why do people say they're closing stream instead of closing play? I, I think they're worried that like, you will see that their like name is in the chat and they'll be you know accused of ghosting is likely where that comes from. Not that I ever look and not that I would accuse them of ghosting if their name was in the chat, but they just want to be above board because they love the stream and <laughs> make sure everything's beyond reproach. Oh, second map. So I think I still need O Stone because they could draw Power Plant and O Stone Crack it. I also need Urza Saga. <laughs> I could also ne ne name the One Ring. Yeah, I guess it's just they could go land One Ring. That would be their best play. Obviously, they could, they could have O-Stone. We also have the Welding Jar. Even if they do have O-Stone, so it's not like we just auto-lose to it. No, the thing about Karn is we're just going to attack. We, ha we have to attack Karn if they play it. Like, needling Karn doesn't work because, like, it's turning off my Treasure Vaults. I have to attack it anyways. Um... So and I so I think I think the ring ends up being like the the one to name here, right? Does Tron play Force of Vigor sometimes? 
If I five zero with the new millennia calendar, I will donate a thousand bits. Uh, that one, that card is not currently in my PowerPoint video. I I think it's doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I I, I was kind of thinking maybe that card could go. Triple drum, one ring. That's close. It's Mulligan. Give me back that seven. Sadly, the seven is lost to the winds. I'm gonna play turn two Cranio playing instead of turn two Ravager. Okay, burn matchup should be really good. We know we're on Urza Saga Shadow Spear deck, but we are on the draw against, you know. When we're on a mold of five against what looks to be a relatively fast start. Let's play this because of Rolling Vortex. Played your Breach in the challenge yesterday when 5-2 deck is great. Yeah, I like the deck a lot too. I wish I could have played it in the challenge. But I, I ended up having a really busy weekend. Um, especially, got even busier when I found out that the uh, Attack on Titan last episode came out on Friday, Saturday night. No spoilers, of course, but... I was pretty happy with the uh, the episode. As champion is Patchy's five through eight. Yeah, that's kind of the, the thinking. Like having like eight of these really hard to kill cards is really nice. And the card, bo both of those cards are like the best thing. Oh, okay. Guess I played into that. Although they just like Boris charm me, right? If I do something else, if if I block. Um, what's he saying? But yeah, like S Champion is like just such a premium, premium card against both Scam and and the uh, Omnath decks. Is actually in ending a second better? I gave it on with the main ending dropped. Yeah, um, let's let's not talk about it. But I I I stayed spoiler free until the until the last episode, and I enjoyed the ending. But let's 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 not talk about it. It's it's you know if you if you haven't watched Attack on Titan, I, I think it's like my favorite anime ever. I think that they stuck the landing with the ending. Okay, so I'm dead if they have another burn spell in their hand, since they have a... Rift Bolt coming down here. Yeah, Searing Blade is number two. Go to game two. That being said, completely painless mana base. Urza Saga Shadow, Urza Saga Shadow Spear deck. You know, we did have a kind of a rough mold of five here, but I'm feeling good about our chances going into games two and three. They're bringing, they have, usually have a lot of smash to smithereen, so I want extra welding jars. Um, so, I, so we could we could do this. We could just play. So we have seven one mana spells. I want. I guess I want to cut this needle too. Oh, gingerbread also gains life. Yeah, I think. I think we'll do this. Yeah, I'm very brave for sharing my anime opinions on the internet. Still a very brave and very controversial streamer, Sparring Spike. They smash the Welding Jar, you still take the three damage. Yeah, but you get to keep your Shadow Spear alive, which is what's nice. x grave with the two months. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back to you too. So we'll play our chalice. You like the most popular enemy? Yeah, I know. Very brave. It, it, I don't know. It's, it's a hot topic. <laughs> I, I recommend it. I'm just recommending it to y'all. I, you know, I'm, I've been watching the show since I was like 18 or 19 or something when it very first came out. And I, I like a lot of people stopped caring much about it because there was such a long break between seasons one and two and the pacing of season two is really weird but seasons three and four have just been awesome i really liked them and i recommend you watch them roiling vortex could be good to etch champion you can go like plating equip i'm just gonna go for it constructs Do 
people mostly enjoy the character development, relationship aspect, animation, everything. Yeah, I mean, it's just, like, a good TV show. The animation is good, too, and, like, but, you know, it's just like any other, like, work of fiction. Like, you like it when the writing is good and the characters are interesting and the plot is interesting and the... It's compelling. All right, well, let's move on. Let's move on. Ain't nobody getting spoiled in this stream. So, so I think I get Welding Jar. Since my opponent has the Rolling Vortex to stop the Shadow Spear life gain. Opponent is taking five from this Rift Bolt. Any artifact makes both constructs lethal. Attackers next turn got Chalcid one. We're at eleven life, basically with their vortex. If vortex was if sulfuric vortex was legal, do you think it would replace rolling vortex for consistent damage and stopping life gain, or is the free spell hate more relevant? I don't know. You know this card is this card is is legal. The other one is it doesn't matter that much. Three mana. It, to me, it's more about like three mana versus two mana. This card being two mana is uh, really nice. Uh, the the other mode is super important in this format also, but <clears throat> uh, I haven't played a ton with the three mana vortex. So I I played some in Legacy, but not not as much as you might think. Okay, so if they have a removal spell, they can go block plus removal spell here, but it can't be Path to Exile. It has to be Smash. Okay, and so on the draw, I think I'm just going to be up the land and cut the ring, bring in the third caverns. But yeah, Rolling Vortex is very good. Would love to have a Gemstone Caverns Urza Saga hand. No Gemstone Caverns. Kind of a weak hand overall. Or like medium, mediocre hand. I think as champion would be decent in heavy artifact mono white saga blade build. Um... We've played some decks like that in the past, and we've played as champions sometimes in those kind of decks too. I, I, I do think decent is a word I would use. Yeah. Um. So I think I have to put back the welding jar. Any thoughts to cut zeros of the vortex? Well, you just play your zeros before the vortex comes down. I think that's a reasonable plan. Lost the Simmies of Two Slaughter with Gruel Breach. Mono White Martyr. Ooh, that does sound uh, particularly tough. Could be an Amori game. How's our beloved Mono Blue Cauldron? So I thought about playing Eps Champion there also. The problem is you just like don't get to play these artifact lands, which is certainly a very important dynamic for Eps Champion being a card you want to put in your deck so um i mean i have been working on it i've been working on it some in pioneer and the the keenan the keenan pioneer build i have has been weird and testing where i've been in theory winning a lot but on a magic online i like actually could not click through the combo in 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 the course of a game I think, I think that comboing realistically takes literally 20 minutes for me to click through, and I, I'm someone who clicks, you know, faster than most people. Um, <laughs> which is uh, not a great place to be. So I may continue to do the testing of that deck off stream. Ooh, smash my cranial plating. It's bad news. I may continue to do the testing of that deck off stream, and then... Um, If it's broken I, or if it's good, I played at the RC or something. Because in, in paper, it's not that not that hard to click through. But every time, but like basically, most of the games I've been playing, like okay, I would be winning this game here if it was paper. But in in Magic Online, it's just it's just is too many clicks. Um. What's the combo? Um. So you you make infinite mana by either turning your Siren Stormtainer is is that the name of the card? Okay, that's a double Boros Charm. Ooh, that's one Boros Charm. So they have two one mana burn spells or one Boros Charm. 
Um, you, you turn your. Let me let me pull up the deck. My opponent hasn't killed me yet. Counting to four can be difficult. They could be talking about how much they love the stream before killing me. Okay, so let's pop a treasure vault. Oh, 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 we'll talk about the pioneer deck between rounds a little bit. Could be an Amori game. Is going to be a Nettle Cyst game instead. Nettle Cyst for the win. They could have Path to Exile, which unblocked the patchwork, but then they still have to like cobble together Lethal Burn. Awesome. Okay, so we're three and one. Let's get a four one prediction going. This deck has been pretty good for me in my testing so far. Could have a Mori last turn using Vault and playing two caverns. Well, second cavern done. Keenan Keenan also doesn't mill. So, like, you know, you, in, in theory, it's kind of tough for you to have, like, not enough cards in the library to kill them also with the tomb combo. But yeah, you, you, maybe you're right. You keep venturing in response to the draw. Mm. Yeah, you only yeah, you have to have, like, I guess so, yeah. So so if your opponent has like infinite life or something, he doesn't you don't win. Is Secret Door the best way to go through combo? Yeah, it's like a one mana artifact in your like Imri deck. It, it's it, its ability is cauldronable, and it doesn't. It's like the only thing that like that you don't need to untap with. It's you know, it's pretty nice. Malibu, eighteen. Thank you. Thank you. It should it should be it should be enough most of the time. Okay, basic forest. You could run something that pings instead. I promise you there's nothing better. <laughs> like something worse. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to play a worse version of a deck. But I, 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 I'm going to tentatively, like, test the deck with friends and paper. And if it's good, I will... Um... Okay. If it's good, I will bring it to Atlanta and hope to spike the tournament with it. And there's a good chance that it's, you know, not literally the best deck. By playing that deck today, well, th th that's what I'm trying to say is the deck is unplayable on Magic Online. It is not a deck that can function on Magic Online. It, it is it is too many clicks to realistically try to win a game on Magic Online with it. It, uh, it the combo as is takes like literally 20 minutes, or that was that was like my rough estimation. I didn't draw a land there, but ring is nice. Yeah, and Ballista is not legal in Pioneer. It is funny, every time we bring up that deck, though, there are a lot of... Spike, you're not playing Walking Ballista in your Cauldron Artifact deck? What are you, dumb? <laughs> <laughs> and I am, but I'm not that dumb. Not, we, we have four Cranial Plattings in the deck. You just missed them. Yeah, and that's a Pioneer deck, you know, prepping for... Um, the RCQ or RC. Seems like we have a good attack here. Good enough. Okay, uh, trading. I guess I'm trading this for Welding Jar because they have the double block. Maybe it was not that good of an attack, huh? And to some extent, you have to be okay trading resources in these kind of games. Where you just, like, have the ring and they don't. But it's probably better to leave that back this turn. Okay, we should be scared of an Arcbound Ravager at this point. They don't have one yet. Okay, so basically locked in on playing Urza Saga. Urza Saga into Patchwork, Ornithopter, Ornithopter, Nettle Cyst. Quad Nettle Cyst. This, oh, just, sorry, just three. Just three Nettle Cysts. Barely any Nettle Cysts. Although maybe it's better for me to equip a Nettle Cyst onto Ornithopter this turn. 
Oh, I could go double equip next turn. I think actually just single equip and... Seems like a pretty good... Yeah, as champion, not very good against scales. We have played against a lot of artifact decks this league, actually. We played against... Okay, they have Besage you. That sucks. Um, still should be fine here, though. If they don't have... If they don't find a Ravager as a boss soon. Giga Stash with a 14. Thank you. Welcome back. Might have to do some chumping. I think I can take five. We'll find a Shadow Spear or Ravager for the ring or another ring, surely. Okay, we're gonna have Shadow Spear next turn. Playing another ring this turn feels like it is almost definitely going to be correct. So let's do that now. And I think I'm going to be... So I guess I mean, we just always just tap this next. Gingerbread is interesting. So I'm going to play the Cranial Pudding since I have two Ornithopters. I think we go cranial plating equip. This can be 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, they can't, uh, they can like lose their hanger back walker tokens, but. Yeah, black lands for plating and Amori. So yeah, I imagine they would block this and not go to one. Next one I could probably crane nettle cyst equip and shadow spear equip. Would have made jump with the blink moth. Well, they didn't. They didn't forget the protection last time. Don't really have a strong reason to think they might this time. The ring is also really good in, in this deck. I mean, the ring is you know, it, it, it's kind of silly to say how talk about how good it is, but it, it's very good. Yeah, they're gonna need like a Ballista Plus Ravager here. So they, and they just drew this, and they didn't have either of those last time. So they find a Ravager. Yeah, I, 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 at the same time too, I, I think this is also a card that like not a lot of people would think to include in the deck like this, for whatever that's worth. Another one would be nice. Like, it's possible that even if I go Nettle Cyst Equip, I'm not going to have. I guess I should just Needle Ravager. Is that more important than getting Shadow Spear online, though? Yeah, I think it's. I think Shadow Spear is going to end up being better. I, I, I probably should have ringed first to see if I found, like, one or the other. Oh, I... Yeah, I guess the Gingerbread also just wins. They've already, yeah yeah we could could have needle besage you that's true but they also can't channel besage you and they've already, already used one I don't think they main deck two use very often should have tapped this to the drum I guess but this should get the job done deck tech for the meat I missed that they had two mana here holy shit they actually they they did it. Their last card was actually second besage you. I, I did miss that they had two mana. I thought they only had one. I missed the drone. But actually ridiculous. Thought there was like no chance we were losing that game. Yeah, so I'm st so I, I want... I think I want... Oh, we could name Ballista. Yeah, I actually want like all the needles against them. Good name. Cauldron Ballista. A hanger back walker is a boss. There's like always something good to name. We want to get these S champs out again. This is very funny. I mean, we're kind of playing like a weird league, I guess. 
in fairness. Yeah, and yeah, I, I don't think yeah, I don't think it was correct to play around that. I, I don't feel bad about not playing her. Oh, oh oh we could have needled. We could have needled the sage you. Which would have been an incredible play. And uh, there was a chatter who suggested it. Alright, so we're doing our deck deck. So the plan is to creativity into your goblin charbelcher. I really don't like any copies of Fury with this being the plan. It seems very odd also to only have three creativities with this being the plan. But I guess it's, you also only have four enablers. I guess you have the Fable also. Okay, Fable and Hard, okay, for, Fable, Hard Evidence, and Strike Rich. That, never mind, you have enough enablers. But if, if, if it honestly feels like a super easy cut, Fury for the fourth creativity, and then you can just creativity into it. The main deck Blood Moon seem interesting. I I don't like that you have. I guess you don't. I guess you only have hard evidence as like cards that it gets cut off for. They could be like Prismari Command instead. Four Force of Vigor in the sideboard is also surprising. Stone is good against them. I don't really have a lot here though. Could be better too. Well, again, let's. I think I think my average six is better than this. Yeah, I would say that this hand is better. I think I'm just gonna lead on Shadow Spear though, because I'm not sure exactly what I'm needling yet. Yeah, the list, look, the list looks cool though. I feel like I might want to see Prismari Command in the main over Blood Moon. Uh, Reckless Handing, I, I believe, is unplayable. I want to I want to register any copies of Reckless Handling, basically ever. Um, four Pact of Negation is a oh no, we're being void mirrored. This is <laughs> not fair. You're also an artifact, a player opponent. <laughs> not fair so we do have two swamps and we can also treasure vault for <laughs> something ah brutal though cool list though I, yeah I, ultimately i don't want to i don't want to see a lot changed that looks good all right i uh i guess we can still draw swamp I guess you could play Shape of New instead of Creativity also. Could be easier to cast. I mean, even if I draw Swamp at this point. But also, we had Springleaf Drum in it at first, or like Saga for Drum. Like, we have like a weird amount of outs to Void Mirror. 3 2, though. Yeah, brutal game. Alright, let's run it back, though. 